Hey everyone, welcome to Out of Spec Guide. I'm Max. I'm with my friend Ryan. Hey, how's it going? Going well, Ryan. And we've got your dog Zoe with us in the car. Yep, here she is. Hey, Zoe. Uh, so, one of the best features in a Tesla or a Rivian, or if you're outside of the US, uh, the global car market, a Neo, is that you have a pet mode feature. Tesla calls it dog mode. And this feature, I just can't preach highly enough about. What does it do, Ryan? It sets your car up so that the interior cabin stays nice and cool for your dog. And at the same time, it'll show on the screen that the AC is running and it's cool inside. So if anyone happens to walk by and see a pet inside, they'll know that it's cool inside. They're not trapped in a hot car or anything like that. Exactly. So we're going to show you how it works in a Tesla uh, and demonstrate with Zoe while we just step out of the car for a few minutes and then talk about, uh, just remind you which EVs have it and uh, why we're hoping to see it come to a lot more EVs on the market. Okay, Ryan, so we've parked the car. Let's say it's time to head out for a quick errand or something. You want to leave Zoe in the car, but of course, make sure she's comfortable. How are we turning on dog mode in this Tesla? Of course, it's really straightforward. So you're going to go into the center screen and go into the climate setting. So just click the number. And over on this right side, you can see there's these things. And we just click dog. And that's it. And what happens is down here, you can see it says dog mode. And when I exit the car, it'll set to whatever it's at for the driver's side. So when I leave, it'll be stuck at 67. The screen will say that it's at 67 degrees and Zoe should be back there and nice and comfortable. Nice. Well, let's see how it works. Let's step out of the car and try it out. Okay, we stepped out of the car. Zoe uh, knows what's going on. She still sees us very much uh, in there. She's like, what are you guys doing? But um, the car has, uh, looks like the yeah. dog mode screen on. As you can see, there's a nice little animation. It's very clear, very large. So anyone passing by who happens to see Zoe, they'll be able to look in the car and say, oh, look, it's, it's nice and cool. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, a problem that could happen if that didn't exist is if some random person were just walking by and that screen were black, they wouldn't know that the car is on and that it's cool and comfortable. And frankly, I wouldn't blame them at all if they just smashed the window to get the dog out of what they thought was a very dangerous situation. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, we've been lucky enough to park in a shitty spot here, but it should go without saying no one should leave their pet in a car uh, with the windows closed on anything approaching a you know, remotely warm day because, of course, temperatures in the car can rise uh, very quickly. So exactly. Tesla has this feature. Rivian has a very similar feature as well, um, which I believe they call pet mode, but roughly the same thing. Yeah. This, I don't, It's not just useful for pet owners. It obviously is super useful, but also I could see you leave a passenger in the car and there are human they're comfortable but uh you you know it, it's a lot to say in certain cars oh just you know leave the engine running or leave my electric car on it's a pretty like it's very easy if, if you had to step out ryan for me to stay on the car and be comfortable and that mode is going to stay on as long as the car has battery certainly i've i've been in that situation plenty of times uh my partner uh, will sometimes uh, be in the car with me and i'll just have to run out for a quick errand and i'll throw it on dog mode and uh, we always get a little kick out of it because it's implying <laughs> that she's a dog, but uh, it works. You're well. her driver. It keeps, yeah, yeah it, it keeps her, it keeps the cabin nice and cool, and it, it's a good solution for it. Yep. And the reason you know this is possible uh, in, uh, on electric cars is well, right? We have a big high voltage battery to draw from for the climate system, so uh, we're not worried about having to start a combustion engine and idle it every now and then. There has been a feature in a lot of gas cars for a while now, and electric cars too, uh, where you can remotely precondition the climate. But usually, it's limited to 30 minutes, and that's just a legacy carryover of the car, of course, not wanting to remotely start its engine to keep the climate running. Of course, in an electric car, you could do this anywhere. It could be an closed garage or anywhere else and you're not going to have to worry about starting up an engine and creating emissions to run the ac it's just drawing on the battery right and it won't use that much energy it will use some and it's worth noting that for dog mode in tesla at least it will not run under 20 percent. so that's that's the cutoff it won't run after that so be sure you have enough charge to uh keep it cool for however long you're going to be out. Absolutely. You said it doesn't consume that much energy. Could we step in the car and just see? I mean, I don't know, it's only been a few minutes, but just let's see how much energy it's consumed and hear from your experience how much, you know, let's say you did a 20 minute errand, how much battery that would take. Yeah, of course. All right, so we're still technically in dog mode because we haven't moved again yet. And we've gone into the Tesla energy menu, which we showed you how to do it in a different video on this channel. And uh, where can we see the usage? Of course, so right here is all of the information. And 
over the past four minutes since we were driving, it used 0.2%. And that was all on the vehicle standby, which was dog mode. So it used 0.2% for about five minutes. So uh, figure about a percent for every 20 or 30 minutes or so. Again, this is going to be pretty dependent on um, uh, temperature uh, and conditions. Uh, I've seen as high as uh, maybe like 3% over 30 minute stop if it was really hot. Uh, but overall, it's a, it's a pretty small amount of energy used. And ideally, you're not leaving your dog in the car for like eight hours or something. Like yeah, please don't do that, people. Same thing, of course, for kids or your partner or whomever. Hopefully, this is not a feature you're using for that long, but it's really nice to have the security knowing it is there. Ryan, I see there's a few other options aside from dog mode uh, in that climate menu. Can we go over those? Yeah, of course. So uh, over here, of course, we showed you dog mode. Uh, another option is keep, and that just keeps the climate on and it'll essentially do dog mode, but the screen will be off. Uh, and I guess this is also a solution that I could use with my partner, but dog mode's better. Dog mode's funnier. <laughs> and there's one more on a Tesla, it's camp mode. I think Rivian has this too. Yes. Uh, what's that? So camp mode will uh, keep the car on and just uh, the climate running. Uh, so here it actually gives you the perfect description. Stays on until 20%, like I mentioned with dog mode. Uh, the security alarm and walk walk away lock are disabled so if you're for example out in the woods and you want to camp in your tesla you would put that mode on and that would be good for it nice okay we've left dog mode on of course for zoe because we don't want to leave it off but let's say you have a bad owner moment you leave your car and you immediately forget i didn't have dog mode on you can actually turn it on in the tesla app right that's right so what we're going to do is open up the tesla app and this is the home screen we can go into the climate settings and down here, we just scroll up and you can see there's dog mode and you can just select it. Another cool feature is you can view an interior camera. There's actually a camera just above the rear view mirror. And if you select it, it might take a second to load, but it'll show us what's going on in the rear view camera. And uh, as you can see, Zoe's right there. And you can also uh, speak into the microphone and see if she has any sort of a reaction to it. Wow, it's very loud. Apparently so, but yeah, a lot of times it's uh, fun to just see what's going on with the, with the dog in the car. Okay, so I'm sure Zoe, even if she doesn't fully understand what dog mode is, very much appreciates having it, Ryan. When you were purchasing a car, was this like part of your consideration as a dog owner? Uh, it was definitely a huge benefit, and in hindsight, it should have been, um, but being completely honest, it wasn't something that I was really thinking about all that much but the reality of living with it and having this option is really fantastic and I think it'd be really tough to go to a, a car without this option for it. Mm -hmm, absolutely and of course you've set up the Model 3 really nicely with this uh, basket basically situation for Zoe. You're not getting your seats dirty because you've got all that covering it. Uh, so perfect kind of dog owner Tesla setup here. Uh, what other vehicles in the market have this? My understanding is Rivian has it and outside of the US market it's Neo. And yep. beyond that, that's it. Yeah, so really these kind of startup brands who are approaching EVs in a different way, to my knowledge, there's no technical reason other EVs can't do it. Of course, it has to be implemented on the software side. And we have seen there have been issues uh, like with certain, like say Hyundai Ioniq 5, certain car models having drain as is without any of these modes because maybe they're not, con you know, having the right, uh, charge between the low voltage and the high voltage battery. And so I'm sure, you know, there's things to sort out and uh, technical workarounds that have to be done. But I really hope that any EV that is able to have this feature honestly should have it in some form of over the air software update. Like with me and my Polestar 2, I'm so surprised there's no mode like, like that. Yeah, it's it should be. I mean, it is completely software based and that does take effort. It takes some good coders to do, but it's not something that has a huge barrier. It's not a hardware problem. This is something that all vehicles should be able to implement. And I really hope more vehicles will have this option in the future. So yeah, absolutely feels like something doable. That said, from a hardware perspective, Tesla having a very bright, prominent display in their vehicle, I think helps with this, like you are mentioning, letting people know exactly what's going on, right? My driver will be back soon. Here's the climate temperature. So 
I understand that. And of course, there's probably legality concerns and everything, but it seems like Tesla and Rivian have done really okay with this mode. And the camp mode too makes so much sense for adventurers, people using their car to get out there and who maybe want a car camp. Because in an electric car, again, you can run that climate overnight, you know, if assuming you're well above 20% battery and, uh, you know, you and your partner or just you or who, whatever, you can be comfortable in your car for a long stretch of time. I've even heard stories, Ryan, of people doing uh, work from home setups or, you know, having a remote office on wheels in their car uh, because it's an EV and because they can do this. And unfortunately, right now in the US, it's just in a Tesla and a Rivian that you can really do that. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely a missed opportunity. EVs have these massive batteries and air conditioning. Yes, it takes a good bit of energy, but it's not that much, especially compared to the size of these batteries. So I think it's just kind of a miss uh, not taking the opportunity to create that. Yeah. There is one workaround, of course, where like in any vehicle, I guess with an EV, a lot of them uh, on the market still have start and stop buttons. So if you leave the EV quote unquote running and are sitting in the driver's seat, maybe that works. But you know, if you're gonna be living that comfy, like work from your vehicle setup, you might wanna lounge and recline and like be in the passenger seat. And it's just hard to do that in a lot of uh, these EVs that don't have that software feature built in. I, I definitely agree. It's, it's something that is, seems like it should be really straightforward to implement and it's a massive benefit to all of the users everyone who i know who has used these modes uh agrees that it's a really great feature and they use it all the time yep absolutely and zoe is demanding pets so i have to give her pets now but yeah i mean people can everyone can benefit from it. pet owners people who want just to condition their vehicles for a while uh who want to work from their vehicles uh people you know just leaving your partner and or your kids in the vehicle briefly while you do an errand all of this is super useful of course use this feature responsibly um but yeah it's just such a nice thing uh and i really agree with you i hope more vehicles added Anyhow, that's been this video on Anaspec Guide. See you in the next one.